I don't know who Big Daddy is, but I I don't think I like this. <laughs> I don't like that name. <laughs> YouTube, welcome to a new video. Today we have what seems to be the first drip marketing for version 1.2. 1.1 is going to be coming out very soon in the upcoming few days and we're going to be getting two new characters, three new characters actually. Uh, Shinyi in phase one who surprisingly is actually getting buffed in the current beta so we can expect her to actually be way better than she is. Not that she's bad, but um, she's not so powerful that she makes MB completely useless. Let's put it this way. With the way she's gonna be buffed, she seems to completely outclass her in every possible way imaginable. Now in phase two, we are going to be getting obviously Jane Doe, as well as um, I believe Seth, which is uh, the defense character, the, the A rank agent. But now we actually get to see who is probably going to be Phase 1, 1 1.2, first s rank character from the Sons of Kalidon. And that is Caesar. Caesar King. We've actually saw her in one of the trailers when the game came out, right? Like the official launch trailer, I do believe, amongst other members of the Sons of Kalidon that are not in the games yet. Right now, we only have access to Piper as well as Lucy. And actually, you can see some of the other members. I know I saw the guy, I don't remember his name, but he was hanging out in front of the gadget shop. But I haven't seen the others. But here we have Agent Record Caesar King. I'm Caesar herself, the leader of Sons of Calidon, Caesar King. Take a seat anywhere you like, make yourself at home. As you've come all the way to the outer ring, consider yourself a guest of the Sons of Calidon. Uh, Big Daddy, what does she mean by the exchange of gifts? I don't know who Big Daddy is, but I, I don't think I like this. <laughs> I don't like that name. <laughs> anyway, we have uh, some of the pictures in here and uh, she looks amazing. She looks amazing. Um, yeah, she's absolutely fantastic. Here we can see some quotes uh, from some characters regarding herself. Uh, we have Luciana Oxesis Theodoro de Montefio, because Lucy used to be a noble, or at least a member of the high society, but she decided to uh, leave it all behind because she was done with that. Anyway, she says, just like her name, she's as simple as a salad. Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Billy Kid says, Big Sis, this is Nicola. Oh, uh, this is Envy. Big Sis. Does that mean that Billy Kid has a relationship, a prior relationship with uh, Caesar King? That's very interesting. Now we see Big Daddy. She's waiting for a coronation of flames. I know she'll do a better job than her father did. Okay, interesting. Ah, uh, the table leg that was inadvertently smashed to smithereen by Caesar's pinky toe, if it could speak. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. She seems to be uh, very hot-headed. Maybe a, a bit of a smash things first and ask questions later. Um, I come, I see, I crash. Well, there it is. Uh, we see this, uh, this, this haircut. We see a lot, and I mean a lot of characters uh, from Hoyoverse have this kind of haircut. Like the normal bangs and the, the one at the top that go to the side with the, like that big M like this. There's a lot of characters that are like that, um, especially in Honkai Impact 3rd. Uh, you have... Man, I can't remember her name. The Flame Chasers of Gadget. Her name is escaping me. Anyway, she kind of has this kind of same color, actually. Uh, I wonder if there's some uh, kind of uh, connection there, but I doubt it. Uh, I think Helia also has it. One of the first uh, Valkyries of Part 2. There's also... Salema, uh, one of the most, most recent characters, she's a, 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 a Shu, C-H-U. Uh, so anyway, yeah, they really like this haircut, uh, this hairstyle specifically. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, other characters with this in, uh, in like Genshin and Sarel. Uh, probably. Uh, anyway, uh, just noticing that. 
Uh, so we can see the king. I love the fur. Very, very cool. Um, she also has a hairpin with king in here. She has like the, those two horns in the back that I think look fucking badass. Uh, so yeah, I think she looks amazing. And here, finally, this is a bit small. So I think it's just the same, but like you can scroll down essentially. Uh, oh no, actually you do see uh, her full picture. I'm Caesar herself, the leader of Sons of Calidon. Very cool. Uh, and you see here you can actually um, visualize the entire, well not the entire, but most of her body, right? Uh, she's ha She's got some holy thigh squish over there. The shield looks cool. Uh, over, overpower. She's, she's OP. She's a speed king. You got a K here. I don't know what those other symbols here. Uh, but yeah, she looks really cool. I like the the belts, the double belt here. I like the 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 sleeves. Uh, she looks pretty cool. Uh, but on top of that, we were blessed with a little bit of an addition here that uh, came out a little bit afterward, and we got a first. Uh, voice lines being spoken because uh, I think uh, I don't remember her speaking in, during the trailer. Maybe she did for a short moment, actually. I'm Caesar, the leader of the Sons of Caledon. Nice. And here we can see her full body. So she's using like a sword and shield. Obviously, we knew that from the silhouette we've seen before. But what is really, really nice here, obviously, uh, apart from being able to observe her. She has long hair. Oh, that's cool. Uh, is that we now know... I don't know why there's a, like a little Bengbu symbol. I assume this is a Bengbu symbol on the left. But, most importantly... Oh, maybe this is the... the symbol of the Sons of Kaidon. It's possible. It's possible. But for the rest, specifically, we now know that she's... Well, it's definitely known now. She's a physically def physical defender character. And what I find very interesting here is that she is going to be the first five star, the first S rank agent that is a defender unit. So first of all, um, I'm really curious to see how Seth is going to um, end up working when he comes out uh, next patch. Uh, does he, will he have some amount of coordinated attack in his kit the same way that Ben Bigger has with Koleda? Is that going to be something that's specific to defender units? Or is that just something that Ben has by himself? I'm sorry, my cats in the background are being silly billies. Uh, but here, yeah, I'm really wondering how she's going to function. Because the defender class, this defender type, is kind of in a weird place because we don't have enough of a sample size to really know how they really fit in team. Generally, they kind of replace or support characters. Um... I mean, we have Ben that's currently playable, and he's the only one playable. He does have that shield that can buff your crits. Um, so, yeah, they're just like kind of beefy support. Uh, but they don't have, like, by comparison, characters like... Um, Nicole has a massive defense shred. Characters like Lucy and Sokaku have a massive attack buff. Um, so yeah, it's kind of um, it's kind of hard to imagine where she would fit exactly. Looking at her, I feel like she's not just gonna be tanky. I feel like she could be a proper damage dealer. Um, it, it feels like defenders might be some form of hybrid, right? Um, so Ben is kind of a like support and tanky. He has some decent form of damage, I guess. Sometimes, the, but the most important part with him is that he gives some amount of. Um, iframes to Coleda. So I'm wondering if she's going to be like would she be a hybrid between like a stunner as well as a buffer or something like that? I don't know, but I'm very curious. I am definitely gonna be pulling for her. I can't wait to find more information about her. I can't wait for more of the drip marketing to drop so we can finally get to know what she's gonna be doing. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, let's see. Nothing apart from that. So yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, are you gonna be saving for her? Does she strike your fancy? But yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, cheers. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.